1105. I'm glad you could join us, Alexander. Renfield has become even wilder than when you saw him. <laughs> so, the esteemed doctor comes to learn from me. <laughs> You're too late. Too late. Too late. The master has been reborn. Revived. Oh, out with it. What do you mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. The master will have his revenge. You're too late. <laughs> and then, then he will make me like him. <laughs> Not that. Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. <laughs> I failed. Renfield managed to kill Van Helsing after knocking me out. If only I'd been ready to stop that madman. I'm glad you could join us, Alexander. Renfield has become even wilder than when you saw him. <laughs> so, the esteemed doctor comes to learn from me. <laughs> You're too late. Too late. Too late. The master has been reborn. Revived. Oh, out with it. What do you mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> The master will have his revenge. You're too late. <laughs> and then, then he will make me like him. <laughs> Not so. Too late. Too late. Too late. <laughs> I guess now we're even. A life for a life. It does not matter. Nothing matter now. But then you say it's true means we all dead men. First vampires and now lunatics. That's the second time I had to stop a madman. I may have saved Dr. Van Helsing's life, but I'm afraid I can't wash away his pain and sorrow. to find you here. Oh, Mr. Morris, please sit. Let me tell you, when lunatic is trying to kill you, you drink too, yeah? Thank God Renfield did not succeed. Yeah, thanks be to God. And to you, Mr. Morris. But if what he is saying be true, then perhaps I wish otherwise. Tell me what's happening, Professor. For Quincy's sake, if not for mine. Ah, if Quincy were here. Then I would have strength enough. I'll not hear this, sir. You were the strongest among us. If you falter in these times of trouble, what hope is there for the rest of us? You are right. I must not give in. I tell you what is disturbing me so. In all my thoughts, my nightmares, never did I conceive of this. He has risen, Mr. Morris. Dracula. How can this be? Yet I do not know. We meet at Jonathan Harker's house tonight. We must be putting this fiend back into his grave forever. <sighs> I met Van Helsing at the pub. He told me Dracula is alive. Could it be? There is a meeting tonight at the Harkers. I must not miss. Thank you. 
didn't think to find you here. Oh, Mr. Morris, please sit. Let me tell you, when lunatic is trying to kill you, you drink too, yeah? Thank God Renfield did not succeed. Yeah, thanks be to God. And to you, Mr. Morris. But if what he is saying be true, then perhaps I wish otherwise. Tell me what's happening, Professor. For Quincy's sake, if not for mine. Ah, if Quincy were here, then I would have strength enough. I'll not hear this, sir. You were the strongest among us. If you falter in these times of trouble, what hope is there for the rest of us? You are right. I must not give in. I tell you what is disturbing me so. In all my thoughts, my nightmares, never did I conceive of this. He has risen, Mr. Morris. Dracula. How can this be? Yet I do not know. We meet at Jonathan Harker's house tonight. We must be putting this fiend back into his grave forever. Wait a moment, Professor. I found this at a local bookstore. Ah. Ah. Oh, Romanian. Yeah, here's the word for amulet. And here death, and here life. Clue this might be. I have a friend at university, Randall Briarcliff. Perhaps he is saying more. Come to Harkos tonight, bring this with you. Thank you, Professor. I shall meet you tonight. I met Van Helsing at the pub. He told me Dracula is alive. Could it be? There's a meeting tonight at the Harkers I must not miss. He also recommended I give the manuscript to a professor at the university. It could be a clue to Dracula. You are all wondering why I am calling this meeting, huh? Well, you all come here for the same reason ten years ago. Count Dracula, the Prince of Darkness. Once again, he has risen from beyond the grave. Impossible. It cannot be. Oh. Brandy, quickly. Yeah, I am feeling like Mina when I am discovering the truth. Now, I am ready for what we must do. But you helped us kill him. You assured us we had nothing to fear. Once we had no fear, now I am telling you what I find. Miss Juliet Adams has the Nosferatu bite on her young neck. That doesn't mean it's Dracula. You yourself said he isn't the only vampire. There'll be more, my impetuous friend. I am seeing our old nemesis Renfield. I know he has once again fallen under Dracula's power. I believe it as strongly as in anything I ever believe. But how could he come back? What could he possibly want with Juliet? That I am afraid I do not know. Oh, please. You expect us to believe that a monster we put to rest a decade ago has decided to come back, attacking a woman we barely know. I've had enough of this. Mina and I should be spending the holidays with our son, not chasing foolish phantasms. I agree. I'm far too busy to be gallivanting about after that which is no more. No, no, you can't be leaving. We, we must be working together. Alone, we are nothing. Van Helsing's story seemed to do little for our friends. They've gone their separate ways, and I fear that they may not come back. If only there was something I could have done. I chanced upon this illuminated manuscript in Alfred Horner's bookstore. You are all wondering why I am calling this meeting, huh? Well, you all come here for the same reason ten years ago. 
Count Dracula, the Prince of Darkness. Once again, he has risen from beyond the grave. Impossible. It can't Lost. be. Oh. Brandy, quickly. Yeah, I am feeling like Mina when I am discovering the truth. Now, I am ready for what we must do. But you helped us kill him. You assured us we had nothing to fear. Once we had no fear, now... I am telling you what I find. Miss Juliet Adams has the Nosferatu bite on her young neck. That doesn't mean it's Dracula. You yourself said he isn't the only vampire. There be more, my impetuous friend. I am seeing our old nemesis Renfield. I know he has once again fallen under Dracula's power. I believe it as strongly as in anything I ever believe. But how could he come back? What could he possibly want with Juliet? That I am afraid I do not know. Actually, I believe I may have come across something. At the Goldacre and Warner bookstore, I chanced upon an odd Romanian manuscript. Dr. Briarcliff at the university said it uh, mentioned a spell to bring back the dead and an amulet of power. Could well be that this is somehow tied to Dracula. After all, Juliet is Devlin Goldacre's fiance. Yeah, all these things, they may then be connected. I must be thinking on this. To work we get. Jonathan, from your office we work. Mina, we spare you the invasion of your home. Alexander, you see to Miss Anison. Help her to be watching Juliet. Let me know when our Dr. Briarcliff is telling you more. I'll check with some other solicitors and see if we can pinpoint the demon's haven. I'm going to check on Regina. I'll not lose another to that fiend. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, my friend. Van Helsing's story may have put the fear of God into our friends, but they seem more than capable of the task at hand. I feared the news might drive them away, but they seem more than willing to carry out whatever Van Helsing may be planning. Good day, Mr. Stranzikowski. Good day, Mr. Stranzikowski. What do you know of good and evil? They are evil. They are evil, but would they listen to me? No. Be a good chap and bring a shovel, Leopold. It won't hurt us, Leopold. She'll be all right, Leopold. It's for the best, Leopold. Whenever I see Stransikowski, he acts even stranger than the last time we met. The poor old sot. Mr. Stransikowski, mm. I hope you'll pardon the intrusion, but I understand you hail from Czechoslovakia. Well, you see, I've come across the strangest fabric. I understand it's of middle European origin. I was wondering if you My might wife! Have... You stole this from my wife. I buried her in this dress. Damn you! You stole this from my wife! You stole this from her! They lied. I knew she still lived. They lied. I'm coming, Ileana! Whenever I see Stransikowski, he acts even stranger than the last time we met. Now he claims the cloth I found in Mr. Bowen's hand belonged to his dead wife. I can't thank you and Arthur enough for all you've done. I think nothing of it. So, where's young Quincy? Oh, we've sent him off to be with his grandparents. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, what with the holiday and all? You must be counting the days until his return. Actually, we've found ways to pass the time. I do wish Juliet could be here. I don't believe the two of you have met her. She's been quite ill recently. So, tell us about your wedding plans. Oh, I've already picked out a dress of the purest white. 
father would have been so proud. I'm sure he would have, my dear. I'm sure he would have. The gathering at the Homewoods was pleasantly uneventful and certainly a kind gesture from Arthur and Regina. They are true friends. Excuse me. Do you have any books on vampires? What? What did you say your name was? Alexander Morris, sir. Well, Mr. Morris, I would advise you to leave such things which do not concern you well enough alone. Those who unearth such things often end up in the earth. Unbelievable. Alfred Horner actually threatened my life today. I want to find out what his secret is, but I mustn't take his words lightly. <laughs> 